Okay, so I got a question about this function uh, right here, tangent pi x over 2. Okay, and the question is, where is it discontinuous? All right, it's already on the board because I already made a video about this, but it came out too long. So uh, <clears throat> basically, what we're doing here is let's take the tangent, and you know, one of our kind of go-to ways of dealing with tangents is to write it as sine over cosine. It's the definition of tangent is sine over cosine. So if sine of this over cosine of this, where is it discontinuous? Well, with a fraction, okay, anything that's expressed in this way, when the bottom of the fraction is zero, this thing is not going to be defined, so it's definitely not going to be continuous if the bottom is zero, okay? So we can sort of simplify this problem into the question, where is cosine pi x over 2 equal to zero, all right? So if we can answer this, we get the answer uh, to this one right here. So Cosine, if you remember, you know, we've got our unit circle, right? I'm going to kind of go back and review the unit circle a little bit. So cosine is this horizontal distance from the origin here to uh, where our opposite side of our right triangle intersects the x-axis. Remember that, okay? So, so at zero, right, we have no real opposite side, okay? Our triangle is actually just a flat horizontal line. It does have a cosine. The cosine is 1, yeah? And the sine is going to be 0. OK, so then as we move up here you know, to pi over 4, um, and we can drop our, our opposite side here, we actually do have a, a cosine, uh, square root of 2 over 2, if you remember that stuff. As we continue to go to pi over 2, now our triangle has deteriorated into a, just a vertical line, right? So there's no horizontal distance, so we have cosine pi over 2 is equal to 0. Keep going around here at pi. Cosine pi is going to be negative 1, right? This is the origin, so this is going to be negative 1. Keep going around, and when we get to 3 pi over 2, our triangle becomes a vertical line again. Cosine is 0. So these are the two places on the unit circle where uh, this thing has a problem, right? It fails to exist. Tangent has uh, vertical asymptotes. So, um, if we look at this, right, what do we have? We have pi over 2, you know, we can call this 1 pi over 2, right? 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2 is a problem. 4 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2 is a problem. 6, 7 pi over 2, you know, these are the odd numbers, okay? 1, 3, 5, 7, uh, 9, uh, on and on. So there's a little formula for the odd numbers, it's handy to know this, 2n plus 1, where n is an integer, okay? So n can be any uh, uh, counting number, a whole number, right? Uh, positive or negative, or zero. So if we plug in zero, two times zero is zero, plus one is one, so we get the first odd number. Right? Now, uh, talking about negative ends, okay? So remember that in unit circle, when we're talking about negative, we're going clockwise, okay? Positive would be counterclockwise, and negative would be just going clockwise. So this position down here where we had a problem, which is 3 pi over 2 going in a positive direction, in the negative direction, it's negative pi over 2. Okay? And then if we keep going, this is going to be negative pi, negative 3 pi over 2. So these positions, they, they are mirrored around 0. Uh, when you put a negative in front, you end up with these exact same positions uh, when you have the odd, odd numbers. Okay? So it definitely works for zero, it works for all the positives, whole numbers, it works for the negative whole numbers. So cosine pi, over two, uh, pi x over 2 is zero when x is equal to 2n plus 1 when n is an integer, okay? Well, that's just the, uh, the symbol there, z. Um, you, can, you can use uh, this kind of thing if you want to, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, Okay, that's a little bit uh, descriptive there of, uh, of the set of integers. Okay. All right, so uh, good problem. If there are any further questions about this one, uh, send me an email and I'll discuss it in greater depth.